Hey guys, this is Carson Miller Tech here, back with another video. And today in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a macOS Sierra bootable external SSD drive or USB. To be able to do this and to be able to boot from the drive, you're going to need a Mac. So if you don't have a Mac, this is MacBook Pro. If you don't have a MacBook Pro or any other sort of Mac, then this won't work for you. But anyways, let's get into the video. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open the Mac App Store. After the App Store is opened up, you can either click up here where it says Mac OS Sierra or go over here to the side and click on Mac OS Sierra. Once you get to this page, just click download. It will then begin downloading and you can see the progress of the download in your purchase section up here in the App Store and it will show it downloading right here. So now that I've downloaded it, you're going to be able to find the Mac OS Sierra in your applications. Mine is, it also shows up in Launchpad, so mine is right here. And so the next thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to grab your external SSD or your external hard drive or USB, whatever it might be, and plug that into your computer. After your USB or whatever it is shows up over here, you're going to want to open disk utility. After that you're going to want to find the hard drive that you just plugged in and you're going to want to partition this. Just a warning, if you're doing this know that it deletes everything on the hard drive. So if you have anything important on it such as important data you're going to want to back that up. So there's two ways that you can go about doing this. You can either partition your hard drive which means that you have two different sections on it so you can have one side that is storage and one side has the operating system or you can just do it all on one in my case I'm going to erase the entire drive and install it on just one large external SSD so you're gonna to want to click the erase button up here and make sure that you are on your external hard drive do not be on your internal hard drive make sure you're on the external one. So once this comes up, make sure this is set to OS X Extended, the journaled, and is set to GUID Partition Map. Then you're just gonna wanna name this hard drive. After you've typed in a name, just click the Erase button right here. And it will take a little while to erase, and for me, it's already done. So over here on your desktop, you'll find the newly partitioned and erased hard drive. After that, you're going to want to go back into your applications and find Mac OS Sierra installer. Mine is right here. Just double click on that and it will open up the installer window. Next, you're going to want to click on continue, agree, and choose down here. Don't click on this. This is your internal hard drive. Click on show all disks and then to the right or left, I don't know how yours will be, mine is to the right, click on the newly partitioned hard drive, the external hard drive, click on install. So if this comes up, this is just for people who have like a laptop, it's saying that if you don't have a power source, it's recommended by Apple to use that, so I'm just going to click continue. And you'll have to type in your password. After typing that in, click add helper and down here it will begin installing and right for me it says about seven minutes remaining so i'll get back to you guys after that's done so as you guys can see the install is almost done and it will come up with this and it will say the computer will either automatically restart in like 30 seconds or you can restart it by yourself so I'm gonna restart it now and it will begin the installing of Mac OS Sierra to your external hard drive The computer will first shut off and then it will turn back on with the status bar and the Apple logo usually this install takes roughly about 20 to 23 minutes somewhere around there so at this point, you can just leave your computer sitting how it is and go find something else to do. Watch a few more of my YouTube videos or something like that. So the install is almost nearly done now, less than a minute. And it, after the install is done, it's going to go to black screen again. 
and it will boot off of your external brand new bootable Mac OS Sierra external hard drive. First time booting it takes a little while but it's typically about as fast as your computer boots into your other operating system on the internal drive depending on the external drive speed. So as you can see mine is booting right now and now it's booted and it will go into the initial setup installer which is this and for me United States US keyboard connect to your Wi-Fi after that you can transfer information from backup you can enable location services sign in with your Apple ID which I'm not gonna do you have to agree to the terms of services once again and create a account after you've completed that just select your time zone and one of the new features of Mac OS Sierra is Siri so I'm gonna enable Siri and it will begin setting up your Mac and it will boot into your brand new bootable external Mac OS Sierra drive. So yeah, this is your brand new bootable Mac OS Sierra external drive and a few new things is of course the Siri, which up here, hey Siri. Hi. And as you can see, there's this over here. Also another couple new features is our lot are mainly in settings, but here under storage now you can manage your storage and as you can see here here's your other internal hard drive and so you may be wondering how do I get back to my other hard drive once I'm booted from the external can I just like unplug it no you can't just do that so you have to go into system preferences go into startup disk and you're gonna have to unlock to make changes after unlocking it then you're going to want to select your internal drive, which in my case is the Macintosh HD, and you click restart. After it restarts, it will start booting. After it restarts, you'll be greeted with your typical login screen of your internal hard drive. So as you can see here, I'm back to my internal disk, and over here, it still shows up the external drive. So yeah. So anyways guys, that's pretty much it for this video. As you guys could see, that was a pretty easy install process. You may be wondering why anybody would even want to do this, and in my case, it's because I'm just wanting to try out Mac OS Sierra without actually installing it onto my internal drive. There's other ways you could do this by like backing up your entire hard drive of your internal and installing it then but that's just a long process. So I'd rather just install it on the external and then if I don't like it, then I just, you know, wipe the external drive. So yeah, I hope you guys liked this video. I hope it was of use to you guys. If you have any questions, make sure to leave a comment down below as to what that question is. And make sure to give this a video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to me maybe if you want more videos like this. Lately I've been uploading every Wednesday and I'm gonna try to keep doing that. No promises of doing that, and I've said that before, but I'm actually getting on a schedule of every Wednesday now. So hopefully I'll be uploading every Wednesday now. So yeah. Anyways, guys, that's about it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Peace. I cannot speak.